Associate Attorney with Richards and Jerusek. Today, we are going to cover an essential topic for anyone on the green card journey, the Visa Bulletin. We'll also dive into the recently released October 2024 Visa Bulletin and give you some predictions and trends you can expect moving forward. So what exactly is the Visa Bulletin? The Visa Bulletin is a monthly publication issued by the U.S. Department of State that provides updates on the availability of immigrant visas, or green cards, under the family-based and employment-based categories. The U.S. government limits the number of green cards that can be issued each year, and the Visa Bulletin tells you which priority dates are current, meaning when your green card application can move forward. The Visa Bulletin is divided into two main sections, family-sponsored preferences and employment-based preferences. You'll also see columns for different chargeability areas, which refer to the applicant's country of birth. Each category and country has its own availability, so it's crucial to find where your case falls. Now, the most important part of the Visa Bulletin is understanding priority dates. This date refers to when your immigrant petition was filed, so think of it as your place in mind. In the Visa Bulletin, you'll see the dates under each visa category and country. If your priority date is earlier than the date listed, your case is considered current and you can move forward with the green card process. So what happens when your priority date becomes current? This means you can take the next step, which might include filing the final paperwork, scheduling a green card interview, or even getting your green card issued if everything is in order. Now, let's talk about the October 2024 Visa Bulletin and what it means for people waiting for their green cards. Here are the key trends and what we expect moving forward. For family-sponsored categories, the F2A category for spouses and children of permanent residents remain steady with priority dates between February 2019 and February 2021. Expect minimal movement here. The F1 and F3 categories, which cover unmarried and married sons and daughters of U.S. citizens, has been slow to progress, moving just a few months between 2015 and 2017. The F4 sibling category has major backlogs, especially for Mexico and India, with dates as far back as 2000 for Mexico. For the employment-based categories, EB2 and EB3 for India, these categories are facing severe backlogs with the EB2 stuck around 2012 for several months. So expect a little movement and potential further retrogression in 2024. The EB1 category remains current for most countries except for India and China, where the dates have retrogressed to between 2017 and 2022. We expect this category to stay stable for the general population, while India and China may continue to face backlogs. For EB-5 investor visas, this category remains current for most areas, including special subcategories like rural and high unemployment areas. Based on the current trends, here's what you can expect for 2024. Family-sponsored categories will see minimal advancement, especially in the F1, F2B, F3, and F4 categories due to heavy demand. For employment-based categories like EB2 and EB3 for India and China, they'll likely face further retrogression due to the overwhelming demand. For the EB5 investor visas, those will remain an attractive option, especially for those investing in rural or high unemployment areas with priority dates staying current. One major issue you might encounter is retrogression, which happens when the demand exceeds the number of available visas. When this occurs, priority dates move backwards, delaying your green card process. So for example, the EB2 for India has seen major retrogression with dates remaining stuck for several months. The Visa Bulletin is updated every month, so it's important to check it regularly. Set a reminder and stay updated so you can keep track of your case. You can find the Bulletin directly on the U.S. Department of State's website. That's it for today's video. We've covered what the Visa Bulletin is, how to understand it, and what to expect based on the October 2024 trends. If you need any more information or help with your green card process, feel free to reach out to us. 